Okay, so recording is in progress. So it says here for question three, write the command to delete sales rep table. And so it says, and I've done it there. So I'm just going to put a comment on the side here. So this is lab one, question three, to, to drop the table, to delete the table. We don't use the word delete, we say drop. And I need to close that comment. So that's that. So then where was the select? Did we the select? I just did that as a test. Yeah. So that's fine. Okay. So then it says for question four, create the following tables. Create them in the following order, A, B, C, D. So question four is to create all these tables. So I'm going to do that here. Um, question four, create, um, what tables have we got? We got customer, then orders. Oh yeah, I see why they need to be created in that order because, because there's um, the, the, the relationships between the tables require you to, to create them in a certain order. So we got table part and table order line. So we got um, customer orders. Part and order line. So we're going to create those tables. And I'm not big on typing a lot of stuff. So I think my SQL is still working yet. Yeah, it hasn't dropped it yet, so that's fine. So we're gonna create the table customer. Just gonna copy. You can do this too, I think. And put it in here, see if that'll work. Actually, you know, maybe I can just add it to the end here, right? Yeah, it looks like that might work. The A is not useful. Get rid of that. <laughs> um, you can't put the comment in, that's fine. Uh, so this is uh, question three or four. I, I mean, I should have just copied the my comment over. So let's see if that will work. Is it, well, let's just, before we just blindly do it, let's look at it. Going to create a table customer. It's going to have a field called customer number, which is three characters. That's the primary key. Uh, customer name can have 35 characters. Not null means that you can't, when the database is running, you can't not have a value there. For every record that you add to this table, there must be a value in the customer name. That should be the same for the for the primary key. Um, the street is a character 15, state character two, zip character five. Those are all similar to balance. And okay, we've done that before. And then the rep number, the rep number is quite important that it's the same size as the rep number in the sales rep field uh, table. And we can see that because we still have here in this, we have here, yeah, rep number. Okay, so I'm gonna run this. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to drop the table, it's going to create the sales rep table. I mean, it's like every time I'm like creating this new, now, obviously, if you had a working database that was a business database, you wouldn't do that. But, you know, we're having fun. This is, you know, we're, we're learning. So I'm going to run it, running my script. What my script did is it, we can look here and see if that worked. Yes, we got a customer table there. We got a sales rep table. The two tables have been created. We're good to go. All right. Um, so that works. Let's go over here to, to do um, number B, which is the orders table. Maybe I shouldn't correct, shouldn't copy the, the number B. <laughs> That's not part of an SQL command. All right. So I can copy that. Um, there we go. Let's put that one there. This is. Um, Orders, I'm just copy and paste, control C, control V, create table orders. Okay, it's gonna have a primary key of order number, gonna have 
uh, date. Now, the, it says date time. What's gonna, what that means is it's, uh, we, um, we're gonna call it order date and the type of field it is, is a date time field. So it'll, it, it, so we can, depending on how we format it, we can show the date in days, but also the time of day. That's kind of cool. And uh, then the customer number, this customer number needs to be the same as the customer number in the customer table. And if you look at the customer, because that's a primary key, this is this is used to to link the ta the customer table to the orders table. You do that through that primary key. So that's important there. That's the same. So let's run that. Okay, so there are all right. So <laughs> haven't we seen this before? So uh you see what happened? I created a table that already and I tried to create it again. So uh what I could try and do, let's see. Um, I could drop it first. Yeah, let's do that. Drop table customer if drop table if exists customer. Let's do that. Now the other way to do it, if you had a working database, is you could say um, create table if not exists. That's another way you can do it because exists works both ways. So that would allow you to to uh, to not write over the table if it if it um, happens. So let me see if that will drop table if not exists orders. Let's try that. All right. So we had a problem there because we'd already created the um, customer table and then we went and created it again. So maybe it's a little bit more efficient to only create if it doesn't exist. But let's see if that will work for us. No, we still got one. Uh, what's this one? Incorrect test. So I have done that wrong. Um, near the orders table. Didn't like that. If not exists. No, you can say that doesn't work because the if is not red. No, well, let's do it the other way. So drop table if exists. Yeah, all right. So the order orders. I got that right. Let's see. Yeah, all right. So that's gone and it's created those tables and deleted, dropped them multiple times. Yeah, how much fun we're having. All right, so we've got that. That's our table B. So we got A, we got B. This one is C. Then let's find C. You're supposed to type all this out, right? Oh, why? C. And then there's a D. Now, am I confident that this is going to work? Remember, we have to do the drop. This part. It won't drop it unless it exists, right? So it doesn't matter that it doesn't exist. It won't drop it unless it exists. If it exists, it'll drop it. That's nice. And last one, last but not least, order line. So that's D. And run that. Okay, so I think that's gonna work. Let's see. No, of course not. 
All right, so which one this time? Um, where? Near the slash. So, drop table if exists SA. So that's the sales one. Didn't like that. So this is why it's good to do it one at a time, right? We tested all this and it was working all right. That D twice there. Let's let's cut out. So it was working until here, right? Take that out. No, it wasn't working until there. So that wasn't the problem. So okay, so this is the same error that I had a minute ago, and it, and it's the only exists SA is up here, and it says the error is there. That's okay. So where's the slash that it's talking about? Drop the table. Drop the table if it's this SA. Lab question one. That's where the error is, right? It's right there at the top. That's. Sure. Drop. Wow. You take out that if it exists because it does exist, right? Let's see if that. Okay. So there's an error above that. It's not the if exists. Sorry about this, folks. To be honest, I'm not sure what's going on. So there's something up here. Maybe, um, I, I don't know. Maybe there's just something in the, I'm going to just, maybe I need to, let's try it like that. Um, all right. Still saying near the slash, but the thing is, where's the slash? Okay, here. It's the next slash, right? Is there so have I got a slash in here that I did that I can't see? Can you see a slash? Anybody? Drop table this exists. It's it's kind of like it's saying because that's It's right at the top there. All right, so I th I think I have a opened. Hmm, here we go. <laughs> I have an open quote that I didn't close, right? So watch those. Oh my gosh. So that was a. Uh, Think it might work now yeah so that was the problem with that i think let's see yeah indeed that was the problem be careful folks that was just a simple one right i mean so everything there is working we've actually created all those tables you can see them there order line orders and what had happened there and sorry it took me so long to find it but i just had opened a quote and not closed it it took me a bit to find it sorry all right so um What's the next thing that we need to do? We created those tables. Describe customer. Okay, yeah, let's try those. And let's try those. Yeah, let's go. Let's describe customer, see if that's gonna work. Um, we can do it. So I need to save all of this, right? I'm gonna copy all of that. And I can't believe I deleted those quotes, but never mind. Um, it's okay because I think they're still in my 
in my uh, my note notepad. So yeah, I got the quotes at the top. Question four, yeah, let's paste it in there. So all of this is working. So I'm gonna save that and I'll be able to use that anytime I need. Now, what I'm going to do is re remove all of these from there. And so now I can do my other things. Now, this is a command that I use on my SQL server. Doesn't work. Okay, no problem. So it's telling you to use this describe table. Describe. Is it? Yeah, okay, describe table. Table. And then give the name of the table. So like customer. And so you should be able to spend something on there. Oh, so we. So the thing is, this one. Where's my word document? Show tape. Pretty sure it said describe table. So this is a thing where I think we might be running up against the thing that some servers don't use the same. Yeah. Oh, right. It's not describe table. It's describe customer. It's my fault. There we go. Don't say describe table. Just say describe customer. Let's try. Could not find stored. Did I spell it wrong? So uh, I guess this is saying, yeah, as I said, that don't worry about this one. It looks like that command is not working in this server. It's, I don't know, this server, it doesn't seem to allow all of the commands. So I mean, like show tables is the way that I usually do that. Describe customer. Describe, I spelled that right, I think. Now, maybe there. Let's try again. Customers there, right? Ah, this is gonna work, I think. So I think that this one, it's not allowing you to say describe, oh no, syntax near keyword describe. Maybe you have to say table and oh. no. okay, so I'm not doing that right. Um, we can see it just by holding it down. So we don't need to do that describe customer. We're, we're, we're st stymied on describe. So I will come back with an answer on that. I mean, as I said, the way I use SQL, I just use show table and that works. But so it's just not working. Really don't worry. Let's go on to the next bit, um, which is what? Describe customer is not it. Uh, insert into table values. Now that's a big work. Um, what values does it want us to put in there? We don't seem to have them here, do we? So yeah, um, we're going. I I will give you those values. I, I are they in the in the table? The thing that you've got? I'm not sure. All right. Yes. Uh, there's one. But we've already done that one, right? Oh. Um, yeah, I'll bet there is. Yeah, so here's the values that we want. In the rep table, we've got to put all these values in, right? Okay, so let's do that. Let's add these values to the rep table. This is good. I don't feel like typing all that, so I'm not going to. So control C, and I'm going to go into my thing here, and I'm going to paste that. Now, it's going to need heavy editing, right? It's going to need insert into. 
and then the name of the table, sales rep. And then you need to do this, say the fields. Um, so, okay. so what were the fields in sales rep? If we could see that. There's the fields, uh, rep num, rep num, comma, the next one is last name, comma, the next one is first name, comma, the next one is street, comma, the next, and you see that I'm just typing the first letter, the first couple of letters, then it prompts me because it it knows right um, state and zip and commission. Felt a bit lazy there. I could have gone C O right um, and rate. So those are the fields, and then I need to say values. And then open that up. Uh, not value, it's values, right? And so that now the thing is, the best way to do this is sort of one record at a time. Um, so I'm going to put all, put, give myself some space for these values and then paste them in because I copied them from the thing, right? So Delete this rep table because we've got that. Yeah, all right. Delete the thing about about um, values because we've got that. <laughs> and all right. And hopefully, yeah, space them out a bit. Okay, so will that work? Uh, this is, shouldn't be a semicolon, it should be a comma, because semicolon means it's the end of the command. And we only have one command here, so there's only one semicolon. So yeah, I just didn't want to type it all out. Um, since I had all the data, uh, so this is the way, okay, yeah, so. Our values there. Uh, not sure this is going to work. I might not have the right number of uh, of um, round brackets, but it might work. Yeah. So it's saying that I don't have the right number of right brackets. No, nope, still not right. So something else. Um, hmm. What was that error? Incorrect syntax near the comma. Oh, near a comma, not near a semicolon, it's near a comma. All right, so, so which comma? Uh, all right, man. Is there a first comma? You see an error there? I don't see one. No, there, there. Um, okay. No, oh, that so it could be this. I, I I'm no, I'm pretty sure you need those commas there. All right, so it, would it be one of these commas? Rep no, no, it wouldn't because they're okay. Rep. Oops. Let's look at the. Insert into, okay, now here we go. This is what we all need to learn. What do we do when we get an error and we don't know what to do there? Well, uh, you do have lots of help in uh, SQL. So you could just, there's lots of places we'll sort of try you with that. I think uh, W3Schools, just the same as we did before. Schools, um, SQL, insert. So just to make sure that we got our insert command exactly right, um, what I'm worried about here is the where, where the commas are and that kind of thing. Um, 
So I'm going to go in there and to have a look. So yeah, it's like, right, table name. Oh, right. Okay, table name, column, column, column. Yeah, with, okay, we're not supposed to have that comma there. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Give me an example. I wish they'd give us an example. All right, so I wasn't supposed to put a comma at the end of the field names. Okay, this is only one comma. This, they're inserting one one at a time. Anyway, so we have a bit of an issue trying to get the uh, commas in the right place. We'll try and sort that out. Um, where's our here? So do I have a comma? I don't have a comma there. It doesn't need to be a comma there. Um, I'm pretty sure we need these commas here. Um, Yeah, don't like to do this. This is the way they want us to do it. I'm gonna get that out. I don't like doing this because this would take forever, right? But um, that's one at a time, right? And that works. And then you, okay, so that's not great. Um, let's take the next one. This one we've already inserted and it worked. So I'm just trying to get this so we can do this without, ah, uh, yeah, like that. I think this might work. Um, so I think I had one too many brackets. So each of these is a row with a comma after. Yeah, let's see if that works. So, this, so before we put in one row, let's try and do it with two rows. So yeah, I had, I think, let's see if this, no, doesn't like that. Oh, maybe I do need the comma there. No, no, no comma there. What that say what that error was? Incorrect syntax near the closing bra brace. And so, you know, it's this one or that one. Yeah, if I mean, if I change this to a semicolon and take this out, It'll run because we know that because we just did it. And then I could, I don't like that. I mean, sorry, you, you could do it one one at a time, but I really don't like that. Um, that wouldn't work in the script way very well. So we need to find another way of doing that, which I, I will do in a minute. Oh, dear me, counting brackets. All right, so I think it's waiting now because maybe I've already added that. Well, what we can do now is see if that's actually worked by doing the select star from sales rep. And we tried to add like three or four records. And there they are. Okay, so we got our four records in there. Now, one guy didn't have any commission. All right. All right, so we are kind of running out of time, but that's basically how you do it. I'm gonna to have to get back to you on, um, on doing the, um, the insert of multiple fields because you do need to be able to do that. So really, it's just a matter of sort of playing around with the commons. Uh, okay, one of the students, Mona, didn't attend. Okay, that's fine. Appreciate that, Dina. All right, so we'll add Mona to the list of wannabes. <laughs> Wannabe in attendance. Um, thanks to those that came to the second session. Um, 
was kind of weird, but uh, I did record it. And so I'm going to stop recording now. And